it comes down to an understanding of what actually needs to happen with that. It's not about a quantity of air and anything like that. It's not a more air scenario or anything like that. But you've got to make sure that you breathe and you've got to make sure that the tank is reasonably full so there's fuel for the endeavor. You know, the energy that you're going to transfer has got to come from someplace. And so that's the first thing you need. But then, as you know, I said a little bit before, it's I very much take a singing approach to it. You know, if I support in the same way that I would when I'm singing and I make sure to engage properly in my core, so, you know, it's that, you know, deep breaths, chest up. There's in so much of the pedagogy, famously in Claude Gordon and things like that. But, you know, in all of them, in some version, you get that stuff happening right and get to the grips with the fact that you really don't need to blow to make a sound on the trumpet, then generally you're going to be better off. Now, once you get to the basic grips of that, then what you've got to do is you've got to play things like your long tones and that kind of thing to really experience what it is to sit in a slot and find where you are and make that sound the most beautiful way it can sound in whatever, you know, scenario you're, you're playing. And, you know, through doing that, you can learn to brighten or darken the sound and change it and what have you and be where you need to be with it. But it comes from those fundamental things of good breath support, an easy approach. I subscribe to much more of a, singing or even sighing approach to how the air moves than a than a blowing approach as it were and you know a lot of it will be really depends on the sound that we want to make and the register you want to deal with i mean definitely if you're playing in the high register and you're trying to play lead trumpet all the time you're gonna maybe deal with a more high compression thing you know both in terms of abdominal compression and both in terms of intraoral compression to really get that speaking and out there, but it's still not going to be a lot of air. And that's the thing that people get a, kind of mixed up on. And it comes back to what we were saying about efficiency. You're putting too much air through the thing, you're making your lips work too hard. If your lips are working too hard, they're over-muscled, over-tense, they're not going to vibrate as well. So the sound's not going to be as nice. And you'll be in danger of buzzing through the horn rather than really resonating the horn. So, but again, in terms of uh, one simple thing to do, nice deep breath and imagine that you're singing because that will tend to keep your chest up, tend to employ some resonance rather than force and probably be the best basic standpoint to begin from for most people.